So, I know everybody has heard what has happened recently with Queen Elizabeth. Peace, cosmic reflection. I'm finna get this live real quick. I'm giving this a little quick lecture real quick, God. All right, so, um, basically, everybody see what's going on with Queen Elizabeth. She was pronounced dead yesterday. Let them let them tell it. Okay, let them tell it. All right. Now, I was telling many of you, I was telling many of y'all that, um, I was telling many of y'all that this was, uh, I forget what lecture it was, but I was speaking about how important 222-22 was yesterday. This is why I elected to put the album out that day and do a meet and greet that day. I've been telling y'all about 222-22 since maybe about a month now, right? And I told y'all, I said, hey, understand that the elites, they are aware of, uh, remember, time isn't real, time isn't real. So they have set up their energy, they have set up their dates and times based upon our energy cycles. All right, we have energy cycles, okay? So they have set up their dates and times around our energy cycles, you feel me? We out here, y'all. We out here. But we out here. All right, so they have set up their dates and times around energy cycles, okay? Peace God, body. Giving this lecture on live real quick. Peace God about what happened with Queen Elizabeth. Peace God, that's how you doing. So I was telling y'all about Queen Elizabeth, and I was letting y'all know that... Um, been telling y'all that the queen is she jumps bodies everybody in the royal family jump our body jumpers they are our body snatchers all right so what is a body snatcher a body snatchers anytime you have an extraterrestrial race that invades a foreign planet and they are able to take on the shape of or the or the avatar of beings on that planet of the indigenous beings to that planet so in on this planet you require you need one of these type of bodies full of neuromelanin to, to move around because the atmosphere will kill you if you don't. See, the, this neuromelanin protects us. What they call black, and uh, you said black, the dark, it protects you. That's your friend. It's a, it's, a, it's a prerequisite of being able to move around on this realm known as Earth or Planet Chi. Okay? Now, human beings, due to the fact that they aren't from this environment, this is the real reason why the sun fucks y'all up because your avatar lacks the neuromelanin, which is what's a prerequisite of what's needed to walk around this atmosphere. So the human being race, literally, you would be, you would have been left of spontaneous combustion if it wasn't no Ananuki gods here. So if it was no gods and goddesses on this realm, human beings can't be here at all neither. Okay? It worked both ways. If there's no Ananuki gods and goddesses, so... So, um, basically, so basically, you, you gotta have to understand that to understand what a body snatcher is, okay? Why I'm talking about body snatchers and um, conscious transfer, all right? So the conscious is in the soul, literally, but at the same time, if you have a spirit, you still have a form of consciousness. It's just a, it's just a synthetic version of consciousness. So human beings, because they lack a soul, they don't have a, a pure consciousness. They have a synthetic form but they live through the spirit so they are still a being they are still energy they are still electricity all right so now that's a human being so to be on planet kai and to be able to live off all of her abundance this here naturally and that be able to connect with it communicate with it your need you need neuromelanin Anything without neuromelanin will die, all right? So literally, if a human being was to stay in the sun long enough, they eventually would, 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 would leave, they would die, they would transcend, okay? Or die, human beings die. They the only thing that die on the planet is human beings. Everything else transcends, okay? So what's the difference between transcending and death, okay? Death means one and done, it's over with. So human beings being six ether beings having uh, 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 um, 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 
two series of DNA, all right? Being from the sixth universe, okay? They don't have a soul. The soul is what makes you immortal. So this is what be this is what immortal, all right, is. Mortal is when you don't have a soul, okay? Animals have souls and spirits, so they are immortal. They'll never die, but they will transcend. Gods, we have soul and spirit, so we will never die. Okay. We will only we can only transcend. Oh, All right, uh, just keep listening to me, uh, God. Let me pin your comment. Shout out to C. Dot Jones that I thought energy couldn't die. It can't. Energy doesn't die. The way I'm saying it, you probably perceiving it wrong. But energy never dies. Okay. But human beings, though, young guy, C. Dot Jones, one shout out to you. Human beings, God, they don't have a, a they don't have a soul. All right. So they have electricity. Right, uh, so they have a, a, a weakened form of, a, of electricity at that. It's not the power. It's a syn it's a synthetic form. I might have said synthetic form of energy. They have a synthetic form of electricity. So, human being a human being only has one life, one life. Right? When they hear, they hear. That's it. It's over with. All right. There's no going on to other realms and realities. Peace, God. Peace and bless you. Giving this download on live real quick. Definitely. See, we got the God out here. I said, y'all continue to be great and move in greatness at all times. Definitely. Definitely. So, I say, definitely. So, um. <laughs> So now human beings, human beings, right? Hear me, hear me, vibe with me, vibe with me. Human beings, right? They have electricity, but they are single celled organisms. So what's single celled? That means they only live once, y'all. So um we gotta stay on electricity right now. Cause I like God, quite like how God said I thought energy couldn't die. I had to pin that because that's a good, we in class right now. That was a good question. That was a good, I'm, I appreciate that because we got to get it down so you can understand what just happened with Queen Elizabeth. Okay, so understand the atmosphere you're on. This is planet Kai. You need neuromelanin to active, to, to, to use, to be able to communicate, to network, to act. You have a lot of power on this planet in abundance, right? But you will need neuromelanin. It's the key to connect with nature. Without neuromelanin, you have no connection to nature and nature is the planet. Okay? Nature is the planet. Okay, so now human beings, they only have one life. They only get one. So this is why why they thought us to believe we only get one life. Okay, now let me explain to you why human beings only have one life. Because of the atmosphere and they only have a spirit, which is electricity, but it's synthetic electricity. They don't have the pure plasma energy type electricity that we have because remember, when they were created, Zeus gave them their electricity. He didn't go to source and get the electricity. The electricity that's in Zeus or Satan and all the fallen gods that we now call fallen angels, they got the same electricity in them that we got in us because we all got our, all the Ananuki gods, your black and Latino people up today, we got all our electricity from source. The human beings didn't get that, so they only live once. This is why they started spreading that bullshit on us. Exactly, you only live once, one life only. Because so when you when you took on that concept, that spell, when you accepted that spell, when our people accepted the spell that we only live once, that allowed fear to come in, which is another what fallen angel. Okay, so human beings only get one life. Why? Because it's a metaphysical thing. They lack a soul and they lack neuromelanin. They have a spirit. They are single celled organisms. Meanwhile, you have trillions of cells in your body. Okay, they only have one cell. Okay, understand the science of the difference between gods and humans. Now, Queen Elizabeth is not a god or a human being. Okay, Queen Elizabeth and the royals are not human beings at all. They are reptilians, okay? Now, what are reptilians? You have a, a lot of different type of reptilians, all right? But the exact breed of reptilian that Queen Elizabeth comes from, they are called the Alpha Draconian, the Alpha Draconian reptilians, and they come from, from the Draco star system, or the Draco constellation, or the Draco galaxy, okay? Demigods have, have are nine ether beings. Right. Anytime you mix the God gene with anything, it, it, it dominates that. OK, we are the dominant gene. So if a God has sex with a white woman, their baby will be a 93 being because our gene is dominant. The white gene is recessive. OK, 
I'm giving you science. Our gene is dominant, their gene recessive. So you have to understand that this is why you know, the human beings, the hierarchy human being, that's the only reason they made segregation legal. Because they, they don't know shit. So once they start learning that, hold on, we if we actually allow these gods to have sex with, have babies and procreate with our women, through them we still live. This is why I be against interracial marriages, interracial relationships. Because they don't give a fuck about you. They're literally using your genetics to keep their gene living. It's breeding. It's called breeding. So, welcome back to Tokyo, LA. Uh, we're here with Emily B. Emily B. Where are you from, Emily? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. That's awesome. So, for you, black guys or white guys? Black guys. Okay. Can you uh, elaborate as to why specifically black guys? Yes, black guys are melanated, and I want my children to survive. I want my children to survive. I want my children to survive. <laughs> and I know that the only way for them to survive in the future is for them to have melanin in their skin. So that's the way for me to. Make my legacy continue. You know, make my legacy continue. You know, make my. Okay. What? It's called breeding. What? Right? It's called breeding. So, understand that concept. Now, let's get to the royals. The royals are not human beings, they are reptilians. Okay, you have a lot of different reptilians, but they are from the Alpha Draconians. So the Alpha Draconian reptilians are, they stand from anywhere from, like I said, they can be from 10 feet tall to as big as 25, 30 feet tall. They are the dominant reptilian race species. I mean, they are the dominant reptilian race amongst the reptilian species. Okay, they are called Alpha Draconians. Cause you got people reptilians but they don't understand they're not tapped in the source so they trending they just going off what's trending you tell them to break down the different the, how many species of reptilian race is it they can't even tell you they can't name the different reptilian species and what planets they own and what's so, so they might not even know you get what i'm saying queen elizabeth and the royals they are the alpha draconian reptilians in the way they look they the biggest of the reptilians and they the strongest of the reptilians and they are also the most sinister so these alpha draconians are bullies they're very they're very low vibrational okay they're very low vib vibrational and they are the pirates of the cosmos so they go planet to planet hijacking planets for their resources just like they did when they came here it's all about the resources okay so the royal family this is another reason why they don't marry or have sex outside of them if you know anything about the royals, nigga, yes, they are all related. So when you see Queen Elizabeth with her husband, that's her fucking cousin. That's her fucking brother. When you see Prince George and Prince him with her, that they be cousins. They be brothers. They be fam, real family. And they have to have sex amongst each other because they have to keep the breed pure. Because they are a different, they are a different um, species all together. So you have to understand why they practice incest. They are a different species altogether. So to keep their species in pure, they only have sex and marry amongst each other, the royals. A lot of people know that, but they didn't know why. I'm just telling you why. For the, there's no such thing as reptilians, naysayers out there. I'm just telling you why. Now, Understanding that, if you understand that concept, you okay, if they reptilians, so why they look human? Because the reptilians, they like to shape shift into the form of human beings so that they can move amongst us. Now, let, this goes back to electricity and magnetism. We have spirit and soul. The God race have spirit and soul. That's electricity and magnetism. So because we have electricity and magnetism, we are the divine being. We, we are the creative all. The alpha draconian reptilian can never shape shift into a God physique. We being infinite intelligence, when we land on this planet, we can take on these avatars. You get what I'm saying? These avatars alone are powerful in technology. So we can go in them. We are infinite intelligence, luminous beings that we are. But the Alpha Draconian Reptilians, when they come here, they have to take on a body to walk amongst us, but it can't be ours. 
So this is why they have to take on the most, the weak, the weakest body, which is the human being body. And that's why they shape shift into human beings. Okay. So this is the true reason why reptilians shape shift into human beings. But you had a, a person trying to be a teacher. I ain't going to give him no clout. And he started a rumor last summer that I was a reptilian. Right. But that don't, that's not even the science of how it works. A reptilian can't even, you can't even take on this avatar unless you are an Ananuki god or a goddess. You have to be infinite consciousness to take on these vessels. A reptilian can only shape shift into a human being. A reptilian can't even shape shift into a goddamn demigod. This is a genetic thing. You know, you nigga jump all over the science just to say some shit on the internet. And then go live and still wonder why they got only nine viewers. Like, come on, man, teach us, man. Don't, don't, don't beat us. Teach us. Don't, don't start, don't, don't start dissension amongst the people. Teach us. You don't see me get on here dogging nobody. You know what I'm saying? No intellects. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. Teach whatever you teach. You feel me? But back to Queen Elizabeth. So if we understand the concept more, like, okay. The reptilians have to take on human being shapes because the avatar and the human being is a weaker a weaker gene so now we be like okay now we can really dive into to what what's happening with the royals so when i sit here and tell you that the royals are the same motherfuckers that been here since they landed you should be able to understand that now because these are the same alpha draconians that landed here took on the shapes of human beings and became the royals because the only the only real human beings that run shit is the 13 families. But guess what? They're not higher than the royals. It gets no higher than the royals. The royals look like human beings, though. The royals look like human beings. Right? But your human being families would be your Bill Burgers, your Rothschilds, your Bill Burger groups, the Rockefellers, your, the 13 families, the elites. Those are your human families that run shit. That's working with the other side. That's working with Satan. But it's a family above the, the 13 families and they are called the Royals. The most powerful family on the fucking planet that runs everything is the British Royals, y'all. They own America and everything else. Federal Reserve, all that. And who are the Royals? The, an extraterrestrial race, nigga. And where do the Royals get their command from? Directly from Satan himself. You gotta understand the chain of command. And the Pope, the Pope also is um, a, a, a human being spliced, a, a, the, the, a conscious, the conscious, the, the spirit of a human being spliced with reptilian consciousness. Okay, so the, the Pope is the same Pope too, like the same, all the Popes, how they be changing, it's the same motherfucker. What they do is they let that body get so old. And once that body gets so old, they lie that body on the table. And just like in Get Out, they bring another body and lie that body on the table. And they trans, they, they put them under surgery. They cut the scalp of their head open. Go inside. I'm telling you the physical procedure, the scientific procedure to this shit, the medical procedure to, to transfer your conscious. So they, 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 they cut the top of their head open. So like right now, Queen Elizabeth, she ain't dead. Like Prince Charles didn't die. All they did was took that body. Like, oh, this body getting too weak. We, I need a new body. So they took that body, put her ass in the room. When they found a new body, that's gonna have to be a royal. Merged them, mer put the bodies next to each other. So they strip, they transfer Queen Elizabeth consciousness into a whole new body. And now it's gonna be a new queen. And then they'll try to let that body age so long. Once that body get weak, go into another body. That's what they do. And they did the same thing with Prince Charles when they when they did him and DMX on the same day. They, <laughs> so with, so with Queen Elizabeth, nigga, they picked two twenty two twenty two to do it. That, they gave you they gave they gave you they gave it away right there. They picked two twenty two they picked two twenty two twenty two to do it. Why? Because two twenty two twenty two is a was a very powerful portal. When all them numbers line up like that, the numbers mean something. And remember that we don't have time. So what they did was they know that on certain energy cycles we got major things going. Portals, vortexes, certain energies come onto the planet, certain spirits come onto the planet. So what they do is they they take those those energy cycles and they rename them days. And they'll make a a holiday on a day that's really an important energy cycle. 
Like winter, for example. The whole time it's considered winter is one of the most powerful moments of the planet, the winter solstice. But they got your ass, they got the planet so fucking cold that you can't even go outside and take on that energy. They don't do that spring, summer, fall because that portal not open. But when that portal open, 